Our Government at Work. A government is the name we use to describe the group of people that run a community, a city, a state, or even a country. Governments make rules called laws. These laws help us to live better together. Long ago, when the United States was a young country, the leaders thought hard about what their government should look like. This plan is called the Constitution. Citizens are the people that belong to a country. The way that citizens choose their leaders is by voting. We all vote at a special time called an election. The Constitution also says that the government is made up of three parts. The three parts are the leaders, the lawmakers, and the judges. The lawmakers of the country are known as Congress. The members of Congress first talk about ideas for a new law, then they vote yes or no to decide if the idea should become a law. The most important court in the country is the Supreme Court of the United States. The Supreme Court building is located in Washington, D.C. You can also see many monuments and memorials in Washington, D.C. These are places that we visit to show respect for a person, place, or an event in history. Not far away is the Jefferson Memorial. It honors the country's third president, Thomas Jefferson. He is most well known for writing the Declaration of Independence. In cities, the leader is called the mayor. Mayors work in a building that is usually called City Hall. There are certain pictures that we see that are meant to remind us of our country and our state. They are called symbols. This is especially true for immigrants to America. To be an immigrant means to leave one country in order to live in another. Some immigrants came here for freedom, and some also came to make a better life for themselves and their families. Rosa Parks is also known for helping to create changes that led to more freedom for all. She refused to obey an unfair law that said that black people had to give up their seats to white people on buses. Eventually, this bus law was changed to make it fair for all. These important leaders in history have helped to shape the United States into a country that is now known for being both free and Fair. Thanks for watching and listening.